The Rock versus Seth Rollins. The Visionary versus The People's Champ. The Architect versus Rocky. I don't know many of their nicknames, but for sure it's gonna be a nice match. First of all, I want to ask you, did you miss me? And do you realize that my hair is a little bit off? Because it is a little bit off, I don't know what happened there, it's out of control. But anyway, I was watching the press conference or kickoff show for WrestleMania 40 the other day, and I was wondering about this. Seth Rollins came out and he started yapping about his world heavyweight title and he and after he was done yapping he introduced that Cody Rhodes was about to came out instead of that Roman Reigns came out and he said that he wants Ro the rock for the WrestleMania 40 and the rock came out and he was staring a little bit into set but the but the thing that happened was he opened the family tree and he said, we are all the bloodline, we are bound by blood and all of that stuff. And I was wondering the whole time, is it going to be cool if The Rock all of a sudden be like, hey, cousin, I don't want to face you to take the title from family to family, but I want to face Seth to take the title in the family so we can have two champs in the family. Does that make sense? I don't know. And we all know with we want Cody hashtag with all of that thing that Cody will come out and say, Roman Reigns, I choose you for WrestleMania. We all knew that's gonna happen. But what does that leave for The Rock? Was The Rock only a tool for all of these kind of situation? Was The Rock only a person who's gonna bring eyes on the prize? Well, I'm pointing to myself while I'm saying eyes on the prize. Anyway, I think we're going into the dream match territory here. We all know that's not gonna happen. The Rock will not face Seth Rollins, but I just want to say I feel kind of sad for Seth because S Seth, whenever you see Seth out there, three of them were yapping about important stuff and Seth was like, the outcast kid from the family that no one actually likes, neither the mother, the father, or the brothers or sister, no one likes him. He was just standing on the side, saying nothing, he was defending Cody at the end, but that doesn't really matter. And I was just thinking, what if The Rock, when he doesn't have a choice now, faces set instead it would be cool i think the match would be cool but this is a dream match territory kind of so there's no need to think about that because the thing that's gonna happen is cody will face roman and the rock will help roman retain and roman re will retain for another year and cody will win the royal rumble next year which will mean that he's gonna be the second superstar to ever win three times and the first superstar to ever win three times in a row and then he's gonna finish the story by winning the world heavyweight championship and all of that kind of stuff but where is the rock in all of this you guys don't realize that but oh and you're all against rock but rock is 51 did you guys know that rock is 51 i want to ask all of you people will you be able to do a wrestling match at 51 most probably not right so, I don't know how much The Rock has in his tank, but it's not a lot, and his uh, time is uh, running out, and I don't know, if if this is not the year, next year should be the year, and maybe Cody will strip the title from Roman this year, but I don't know. I just wanted to say that I had that imagination of what if a Rock versus set, and... I was having also that that imaginary picture in my head. What if Cody faces The Rock? But we all know that's all imaginary because the big, big, big match that we're aiming for is Roman versus Rock. Basically, the same concept as Hulk Hogan versus The Rock back in the day. Basically, Hulk Hogan was passing the torch to the next generation, aka The Rock. They were both huge. And now it's gonna be the same thing. The Rock will pass the torch to Roman and officially, 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 he's gonna be the guy and the top face of the company. 
and of all sports entertainment. And yeah, I think it will be cool. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Did I just touch the microphone? Did you guys hear that? I was about to say sorry about that, but I'm not gonna say sorry for anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.